Hey guys, Jed Johnson here, and I'm excited to show you this next piece of equipment. This is what's called an axle. Now an axle gets its name from the Apollon's wheels, which was a feat of strength. It was a set of train, train wheels on an axle, and it weighed 366 pounds. And Iron Mind has produced what they call the Apollon's axle, and um, it's available from their website. Uh, now, the thing is, if you're going to be doing grip contests, you certainly want to get your own Iron Mind axle because nothing is better than training on the exact device you would need for a grip competition. However, if you're not going to be using the axle <coughs> for, uh, for a grip contest, it's really not that necessary to go and get one. In fact, if you're going to be doing a strongman uh, competition, um, the promoters may not use axles either. They, must, they might just use pipes. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make today is an axle out of just a length of pipe. Um, first off, to show you the Iron Mind axle here. Uh, the Iron Mind axle is uh, smooth, but it also takes on texturing very easily. It has some uh, some imprints here to uh, to guide where your hands would go. But uh, to give you an idea, it's, it's, a lot of people say it's seven feet long, but in reality, it's more like seven foot two. So what I've got here is a tape measure, and I want to show you some of the some of the links here. Uh, the the loading the loading area. actually 17 inches. Um, so there's 17 inches here that you can use to load um, load your plates. Then there's a nice collar here to keep it from rolling into the, the gripping area. The gripping area is 4 feet 4 inches more, more or less. So that gives you enough room to perform what's called the sumo deadlift, which is a wide stance deadlift, lots of room for you to spread your legs out between the plates. If you're not going to be using the axle for deadlifts, then you don't necessarily need that much room. Um, you can actually make your axle out of, a, out, of, out of a shorter pipe. And I'm going to make one today in roughly five minutes with a shorter pipe simply because that's all I have. Now this is galvanized pipe and it's about a quarter inch uh, wall. You want to get, probably if you're going to be doing anything as far as heavy deadlifts, rack pulls, or even clean and press with your axle, you want to get black pipe. Um, I don't have any of the black pipe here or else I would use that today. Black pipe is good and strong and it will last you, and I've heard lots of good stories about people using the black pipe and dropping it with, you know, 300 pounds on it, and it doesn't bend. So, the last thing you want is for your axle to get bent. That sucks. So, what we're going to do now is just measure this pipe and see exactly what length we have, because we want to make sure that we have a decent area to load plates. It's about 73 inches long. Okay, so that's roughly six feet. So from there, you're just going to decide how much area you want for loading plates. Now when I make this, I'm probably just going to use this as like a curl bar. You know, it's really good. The main important thing here is to have that wide gripping area. And the thing about a, a normal power lifting or an Olympic bar is you can get your hand around it very easily. It's not much of a challenge for your grip until it gets very heavy. Now I'm going to probably use this for curling. So you can see, even though it's a smaller bar, I've got plenty of region here for me to grip the bar. Okay, I can go narrower, I can go wider if I want to, but generally I'm right around here. So I mean this is, this is perfect. The most important thing is that I get that open-handed position. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure a foot in from the end of the pipe and put a mark. So, I'll get my tape measure. And I've got
got a black magic marker here. What I'm going to do is just put some marks around here. Now if you have the skills to weld, you could actually weld your collar right on there. But I'm going to show you how to do it without having to go to those lengths. So I've got the general guideline all around the pipe for 12 inches away from the end of the pipe. Next thing I'm going to do is take some Gorilla Tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around here and build it up so that it's large enough to keep the plates from working their way inside into the gripping surface. Um, and then it's going to be it's going to be great. From there, you just load the plates on and then you can keep them from sliding off with just some pony clamps. So, <clears throat> here's some Gorilla Tape. Um, you could also use duct tape, but I use Gorilla Tape generally because I just think, I just think they have cool marketing. I, I, like, I like the idea of having a Gorilla Grip. That's what you're going after anyway if you're going to be doing axle training. So, I usually tell people to go with the Gorilla Tape. It works just as well as duct tape, plus it's black and it looks a little bit cooler. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you pretty much want to just go around where you drew that line. And then all you're going to do from there is just continue to wrap the tape on top of itself. Now you want to be nice and careful and do this neatly because what you're going to end up with is a nice, neat collar on here. You don't want it to be messy because then the plates are going to slide around anyway. So you want it to be nice and you want it all gathered up on top of, top of itself very neatly. So I'm going to cut the video now. I'm going to finish this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Alright guys, check this out. All we did was we took a pipe that I got from the scrapyard a few years ago and I was going to turn this into an axle with, um, with, the, with the tires on it like you see in Strongman Contest. I ended up getting injured, kind of stopped doing the strongman competitions, so I never ended up using the pipe. So I went out and got it uh, out of the corner of the garage, and here it is. I just measured 12 inches from the end on both ends, put a line around there, and then you just take your, your duct tape, your gorilla tape, athletic tape, whatever the case may be, and you just go very neatly around that point. And you go around a few times. I actually put a little bit more on this end. You just put your plate over. Boom. To tighten it, pony clamps. Okay. Other side. Perfect. Get your pony clamp. You just stick the pony clamp on top. And pony clamps were great, so pick those up too, and then you can perform your curls. Now the the pipe is hollow, so it's a little bit lighter than your normal bar that you're working with. So whenever you get this made, just uh, hold it, stand on your scale, take your take the weight, set it down on the ground, take your weight alone on the scale. The difference is how much the pipe weighs. So it's really easy to figure out, and you can use these for years. Like I said, mostly what I'm going to be doing with this is curls in my squat cage because it's my gym, so I get to do what I want. Um, but don't do that at the commercial gym. You can, you can really piss some people off. But once you have your axle made, there's all kinds of good things you can do. And like I said, the curls, you can do pressing movements. Um, incidentally, if you ever have wrist pain, that you feel on the bench press, I encourage you to try doing the bench press with the axle. Uh, when you open your hand up, a lot of times, um, instead of having it gripping the bar with a closed position, if you open your hand up slightly, it'll release some of the discomfort in your wrist. So give that a try. Um, you can do deadlifts with this, one hand deadlifts. Uh, you can do different challenges. One of the things that I like to do for 
just grip endurance is what's called a spider grip. What I'll do is I'll pick the bar up in a double overhand position and I'll just go back and forth pronating and supinating the hands with a load on there, maybe maybe one third, well, maybe uh, plates on each side, maybe two plates on each side. And you just keep going back and forth, bam, 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 bam. And uh, it's really good for working explosion with your grip and also endurance with your grip. Really cool. Um, and then, like I said, make sure you grab pony clamps because when you pick up homemade strength two, I'm going to show you how to turn these pony clamps into a very cool piece of grip training equipment for developing thumb and finger strength. All right, homemade strength two is going to be coming your way very soon. Keep your eyes open on your inbox. Make sure you sign up for the mailing list, which is right below this video. When you do that, um, you're going to be the first to know when homemade strength two is available. And believe me, I'm, the price is very reasonable. Um, you're, you're not going to have to, you know, sell one of your children or, or go to extremes in order to pick this up. I want to get this into people's hands. I want to get it into a lot of people's hands because despite the fact that I've been talking about grip strength for nearly 10 years, there's still people that don't understand its importance and how much it can really increase your performance, whether you're an athlete, whether you compete at strength sports, or if you're just looking to get into better shape, build more muscle, and be more fit, your hands have to be strong so that you don't keep losing repetitions in your work. Your hands get tired, you got to set the bar down, you got to take a break, and that harms the amount of results that you can get in your training. So, it's coming very soon. Like I said, keep your eyes on your inbox. Make sure that you sign up for the newsletter below, and you will be included when this thing opens up. Thanks a lot, and all the best in your training.